the ab wheel out. This is one of my favorite exercises that is functional, but at the same time really works the six pack abs that everybody wants to have. And you will see why when we get into it. So what you're gonna do is either grab a mat or maybe two foam pads for your knees. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna grab the ab wheel. You're gonna set up in a hand and knee position with your hands on the handles. And you're gonna slowly roll out and then come back in. So what I tell people to do is slowly start with a short distance and come back because the joke is if you go too far, you might not come back and you'll most likely hurt your lower back. So find a depth that works for you and then eventually challenge yourself to get lower and lower every single time until your chest can almost touch the floor. Now, where people screw up is the hips. So a lot of times when people do this incorrectly, they leave the hips behind and they let their arms go. And it kind of just looks like a half-assed thing. Or what happens is they start to go forward and on the way back they leave their hips and then their arms follow. So they go forward and they lead their hips back. And that's not getting the full benefit. This just tells me that their core is not strong enough to actually pull themselves back. You want to think of pulling your arms back when you do the ab wheel out. So if I was coming out, my first initial movement is driving my arms back to the hips. I'm pulling myself back. And what the other thing you want to think of is letting your hips drive forward at the same time as your arms. There's a timing issue. A lot of people don't have good timing on this exercise. So to put that in a summary, let the arms and hips come at the same time and then start with the arms and then hips on the way back. Putting that all together, your ab wheel up should look good and will leave you without any pain in your lower back.